Welcome to a Mike Vades video. Here we are today. We're going to talk a little bit about the Seahawks and what happened today. It was a very interesting day. Seahawks versus the Dolphins. We ended up winning. It was a great game. Very interesting. The end game was 12-10. It was just insane though. There's so many different um, aspects to that game. I was so nervous at one point. Um, so excited at the other point. It was just, it, it was weird. It was a very weird game. It was insane. I'm a little upset today as well because I didn't do my vlog that I really wanted to do. I was talking a little bit about that with a few people I might have mentioned in a video or two in the past. My idea for this season is going to be producing a vlog for every tailgating. That is out of the window. What the fuck? That was sort of my end goal was to produce a vlog. Upsetting. I had a really cool vlog idea down. I wrote everything down. I had like scene by scene, step by step inside this video and I was so pissed that it was gone. It was gone. Because my alarm, my fucking alarm, it, the plan was perfect for the day. It was going to be a great day. It really was. Ruined, ruined, ruined by my alarm. <sighs> Man, can't get over those alarm issues, right? They'll never end. New alarm issues will never end. My alarm crashed. I had like an hour and a half left. Had to go to the game, had to get drunk, or sort of. <laughs> had to have fun, but had to have fun for like an hour and then had to go to the game. So, first game of the year. What a game. Wow, well, very interesting. I, I thought, you know, I'm excited. I think Miami's a great team. The last time I think we played Miami, we lost. I think we were starting off in a good point in the sense of players and things like that. So, I thought our defense was set up pretty well. I thought we had a really good squad this year for for the beginning and we did you know the first drive looked amazing the first few drive looked really good and then all of a sudden it just was sort of downhill from there you know what I mean our defense had some really weird blunders it was huge errors Earl Thomas who's my favorite defensive player on in the Seahawks my jersey actually he had a few errors which were pretty big he let a couple people bypass him he almost there's two or three plays in that game which could have won them that game if they didn't overthrow it or if they didn't do something like that they could have easily had it easily but it was I'm happy that those blunders happened on them and us it was like a two-way streak for us you know what I mean it was we made an error but they also made an error so that sort of helped out a lot it was frustrating to see what we have in the sense of such a good team to make such simple errors that just shouldn't happen once again it was the first game of the year right so it happened Earl Thomas really needed to step up during that time people got past him People in the backfield behind our defensive backs, which should never happen. That's like the basic rule of defensive backs. So that happened a few times. Certain things. It wasn't going well. Then offensive plays as well. I think offensive plays, we our play calling was off on some plays. I think that's typical for the Seahawks, though. Throughout the year, I think we'll see that. It's always and forever. I just think Russell Wilson wasn't on par the entire game, though. You know, that interception was not amazing. There's some other things. You know, he came back and he, and he stepped up. He stepped up to the plate later in the game. He threw some really solid passes. He did pretty darn good. Can't blame anything. It's the first game of the year. I think we did good for the first game of the year, but we need to address two things. First thing is going to be the defensive backs. Our defensive back category needs some uh, some structure. Things happen in the bad games. Usually it's their fault, but usually it's because of misplay calling or, or missed assignments or things like that. So that's all structure. That's all structural pieces. Um, so that structure defensive backs need to come back that's an opinion but throughout the game that i watched today i think it needs to happen i think russell wilson played a really good game manager this game but i think that there's still some errors there i think it happens every year we can't pinpoint it but something needs to change you know, i'm not concerned for him because he miraculously pulls off everything there's some things we need to work on as a team obviously it's the first game of the year but i think we did good to show what we can do for the rest of the year. I think it was a really good, Here, here's what we are, here's what we're gonna do, we're there. Another thing I wanna talk about was Namakasu's uh, step on Russell Wilson's ankle. That looked pretty bad. He's the one who stepped on a person's hand, he's the one who like got suspended for multiple games for, for just doing dirty, dirty stuff. Like, stuff you wouldn't want any football player to do to you. Like, you guys are all part of the league, you guys are all part of like, you know, in a sense, a family, you guys got different teams and stuff, but it, it's still a, a coercive, group more or less. Yeah, Namakatsu has done some dirty, dirty shit in the past. I don't think that when he stepped on Russell Wilson's ankle, I don't think he did it on purpose. Once again, I think it was an accident, so I don't think that they really can call too much on that. An injury is an injury, an accident's an accident. You can't really call those things. So I don't think there was really a penalty to call on that. They could ruin it the rest of our year. I'm interested to see how Wilson's ankle's gonna play out. It's the NFL. Big men hitting big men. What can you expect?
I want to talk a little bit about what that last touchdown. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful play. That play is practiced hundreds, hundreds of times by the Seahawks. That my alarm now wants to go off. That was the alarm. There you go. About 12 hours ago, I think it was my fault because I accidentally hit AM, PM, or whatever. Uh, who cares? I, should, I, I do. I, I do a little bit. I think I messed up just a little bit. <laughs> it just went off in the video. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's awesome. So getting back into this video a little bit. Last touchdown. Wow, what a last touchdown. They practiced it hundreds and hundreds of times in the past. What a great play. It's a perfect pick. The idea is, is that the players sort of get switched up, right? If you think about it, two players, Doug Baldwin, Jermaine Curse, and they sort of get turned up, right? The thing about this play is that as long as Doug Baldwin does the beat off the line of scrimmage, he's out. He's done. It's a touchdown. That is it. They practice this so many times that Russell Wilson just has to throw it to one spot and they already know where the ball's going to go. Doug Baldwin already knows where it's going to be. All he has to do is one or two quick little moves right off the line of scrimmage, beat his guy, hit the left, he's out. Touchdown Seahawks. And that's exactly what happened. Perfect play calling in the perfect moment. That's what I want to see from the Seahawks. It's again, a play that was done a hundred times over and over again in practice. Executed to the T in a game. That is what you want to see. That's what every single play should be. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys watched the game. It was beautiful. Really fun game. Great game. Great first game of the year for the Seahawks. Super pumped. The season is here. I'm ready to watch some more football and see what happens in the rest of the year. Hopefully, I'll be making videos like this every single game. I'm a big Seahawks fan. You guys know I got season tickets. You guys know I go to every single game. There, there's a lot of context to the situation. But I, I will be producing, hopefully, a vlog. And then this video, after every single game, I want to inform you guys. I want you guys to be caught up on the Seahawks and, and sort of um, know what my opinions are about it as well. Like, I, I love watching it. I love talking about it. So feel free to comment down below. Let's talk about what happened. What is your opinion about Namakasu stepping on Russell Wilson's ankle? What is your opinion about the last play of the game in the sense of the touchdown last play in the game? Um, also, what do you guys think about the sort of defensive breaks? What do you guys think? I want to know what you guys think. Please comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. We'll talk a little bit, chat it up. Don't forget to hit a like if you guys like what you guys seen here. Don't forget to hit a dislike if you don't like what you guys seen here. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. And thank you guys so much for watching the video. Mike Vids. Out.